Today we'll be adding and subtracting radicals. In order to do that, we combine like terms. That means their radicand, or the number under the square root, needs to be the same in order to add or subtract them. So in our first example here, we have 7 square roots of 14 plus the square root of 21 minus 4 square roots of 14. These are simplified, so we combine like terms. 7 square roots of 14 minus 4 square roots of 14 is 3 square roots of 14. And then we just have plus the square root of 21, and that's simplified. Our next example, we have 5 square roots of 7 plus the square root of 28. The square root of 28 can be simplified to the square root of 4 times the square root of 7, which is 2 square roots of 7. 5 square roots of 7 plus 2 square roots of 7 is 7 square roots of 7. Negative the square root of 6 plus 2 square roots of 6 is just the square root of 6. Negative 2 square roots of 2 minus 3 square roots of 2. The radicands are the same, so we can combine them. Negative square roots of 45 minus 3 times the square root of 5. So we can simplify the square root of 45. And now we can combine like terms. Again, the square root of 6 is simplified. The square root of 24 can be simplified. Okay, both the square root of 54 and 24 can be simplified. The square root of 20 can be simplified. Square root of 18 can be simplified. That's simplified. Square root of 12. Right, 5 is simplified, 45 can be simplified, and 27 can be simplified.